everyone, this is Sasha bringing you a video tutorial today from bp for You, and today I'm going to be talking about some of the over here menus, and I know that we already went over it with the develop module in pretty good detail, and so we're going to go ahead and just do it um, for some of the other modules as well. And so, first of all, we have this um, histogram here, and again, we had kind of talked about the histogram over here and how that's helpful. Um, we had talked about it in terms of you can see your whites and your blacks. And so again over here it's the same thing. Let's grab this color photo. This is my black clipping here. This is my white clipping here. If it's climbing up the wall then that means that you have overexposed your photo or there is um, blown highlights. If it's climbing up the wall over here then chances are it's either underexposed or you have clipped your blacks. And so everything in the middle here is midtones. So you have that histogram here available to you as well. And um, you can see here how each one of the pictures that I click on um, looks different. And you can see that this one has a lot of black in it. And you can see that in her hair she has a lot of black. But because this is a black and white picture, this histogram actually doesn't look bad to me. Um, I might maybe just push the whites over a little bit more if I wanted to, but I would probably be happy with those blacks just the way they are. But again, that's because it's black and white and not a color image. Okay, so here I've got this quick develop. Um, again, I can come over here and I can add a preset to um, my photos. And, um, oh, that's a little bit crazy. Um, I can add, a, um, let's see. Let's do this one instead. I can also reset them down here. <laughs> and so that was not a BP for you preset. That was something that was preloaded into my Photoshop. So again, let's just do one of these. Um, let's do this autumn tone. There we go. So you can see here now that is the preset. It has been added over top of our photo and it looks a lot better. And this is a BP for you preset. Here you can change your white balance. You can do as shot auto. It's set on custom right now because the inside of this preset it has changed the white balance. Here I can choose whether or not I want to auto tone, add exposure, clarity, or vibrance. And of course I can take away those as well. And again here's our reset button. I really like that edit so I'm going to leave it on there. Here we can add some keywords, and you can see I already have three. I can come here to add a new one, um, and we can call this maybe edited because I added an edit to that photo. And so here that keyword is up there, and I can search for keywords here as well. Um, and you can come in here and you can look at keywords, and you can type in edited, and that would come up there. Oops, I don't want to do that. Okay, so I'm just going to clean that out there and remove that and that will take that away. Here it gives me some keyword suggestions and I can choose from a keyword set to, um, you know, just click on one of these keywords. For example, here let's add this black and white. I just clicked on black and white and it came up here in my keyword tags. Here I have this keyword list and I can look at all of the pictures that have these on there. For example, this wedding. Um, I can see by clicking on this arrow I can see all of the pictures that have a wedding keyword. And I can uncheck that as well um, to remove those. And so let's come back over here to our previous import. Here we have our metadata. and when you're looking at this picture you can add a preset metadata on here if you want to. Here is your file name, your copy name, your folder. Um, the metadata status has been changed and we did talk about metadata when we made the preset. Um, here we have our title, caption, our copyright. Um, obviously this is copyrighted. Here we have the creator and the sublocation. We can give it a rating and a label and this tells us our file dimensions. And here we have these comments, and this um, does not allow me to do comments right now. 
Okay, so moving along over here, we have our catalog and we do have an entire video tutorial on making a new catalog. And um, so you'll wanna go ahead and check that out if you're curious about your catalog. Here we have folders and these are all of the folders that I have brought imports in into Lightroom. And you can see that some of them are kind of grayed out with a question mark on them and that is because I have moved them or deleted them outside of Lightroom and they are lost. So here I have my collections and um, again we have another video tutorial on the collections which you, want, well, which you will want to go ahead and check out if you are wanting to know more about your collections. Here we have these published services. You can go ahead and click on those to set those up if you want to publish to Facebook, Flickr, SmugMug, or your hard drive. And that will allow you to easily go ahead and do that right from, right from Lightroom. Okay, so moving along here, we already talked about the develop panel, so let's go ahead and move into this slideshow module. Over here you have these um, templates. And um, here we have user templates if you've made any of your own and then we have these other templates here as well. So here we have some options. We can choose to zoom it to fill the frame or we can put that down. We can choose whether we want to stroke the border and the width that we would stroke it with. Here we have the shadow and of course we can um, move that around, choose um, some settings with that as well. Those are all settings that you've seen before in the develop panel. Here we have these guides. We can choose whether we want to show those or not. Here we can kind of move um, this around. Right now they're all linked and so we can unlink those and we can move it um, freehandedly with these sliders there. And it was right around in there originally so I'm just going to leave it there. Here we have these different overlays. We have our identity plate, um, and we have our normal settings here, and we've seen all of those before. We have the watermarking, and um, you can choose what watermark that you want to use with that, or if you want to use one at all. If your photo is rated, you would be able to see your rating stars here. And down here, there is a text overlay, which you can cling to any one of the sides that you want that to be at and you can move that around or just turn it off okay so I'm gonna go ahead and collapse that here we have our backdrop and then we can add this background image and um, let's go ahead and we're just gonna click we're going to click on one and we're going to drag it Ah, let's turn this on first. Okay, so we're gonna click on one and we're gonna drag it into that box. Um, we can choose to have this color wash on it. You can choose the opacity and the angle of that color wash. And this would be the photo opacity. And then here you can have a background color if you don't wanna do the color wash. Here we have our titles. Um, we have this intro screen and you can change this to whatever you want it to say and again you can change the color of that and the font and the size so I could go ahead and I could click OK again I can override that color we had kind of changed it in okay and then again you can scale that as well and you can change the background of the screen right there same thing for here um, you can edit this and you can say you know thank you for watching um, you can scale that up or you can scale that down you can choose to override your color to make it a different color um, however you want that to look and then the next thing that we have here is all of our playback options, whether you want music, how long you want the slide to be, whether you want it into a random order or you want it to repeat or just end, and whether or not you want to prepare your slides in advance. Okay, so stay tuned for part two of this um, video tutorial where we're going to talk about the print and the web. So thank you for watching this 
and I hope you have a great day.